All right, welcome back. Let's finish off the NPC retextures. But before I do that, I'm gonna clean this up by deleting all installed. And then I wanna make sure I endorsed everybody. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click on flags right here and it'll group all the different flags together here. And yeah, there's four mods I did not endorse yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and endorse those. Then to get everything back into the load order, um, install order, just click on pri priority and it'll put all, all of them back in order. All right, so let's get into the ordinary women. So there's a main file and an optional file, so let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna install the main file first and then optional, make sure it's correct yet. Yeah. Use ESP only. Okay, so since that's an optional file, we're going to install that as a separate mod. So let's install the main file first. And then the optional file. So make sure it's named differently. Just go down to uh, what that optional file is called. All right, let's activate them. And look at it. Look at it. We got to delete some meshes and some textures. So let's do it. Right click on Ordinary Women, Open Explorer. So let's do the meshes first. So we'll go to meshes, actors, character, face gen data, face geome, skyrim.esm. And we're gonna do the copy paste, enter, delete, dance. So copy, paste, enter, delete. Copy, paste, enter, delete. And so it goes. Paste, enter, delete. All right, let's do the textures. So it's going out, going back in, open Explorer, and now we're going to the textures. So textures, actors, character, face gen data, face tint, skyrim.esm. And away we go. Copy, paste, enter, and delete. You know that dance, you know that groove. Okay, and that concludes the installation of the Ordinary Women. Okay, next up, Callie's MP NPCs. So, change the appearance of the 51 female NPCs standalone. So, let's download the main file. Yeah, I like this mod. Pretty good, pretty good. Whew, there's a lot of deleting to do in this one, though. Okay, so there's gonna be full mod. So in the first option here, we want to choose UNP, optional SP. We're not choosing any. Next. So Gormlith, we're not choosing any, we're not choosing any of these. And then install. Okay. Let's do our favorite dance. Let's boogie oogie. So meshes. Actors, character, face gen data, face geome, skyrim.esm, and away we go. And if you're concerned that you're not deleting this stuff because it's not immediately just disappearing when you hit delete, just hit F5, and there it goes. But just trust that it's working. Just make every movement deliberate. Economy of motion. Now we're doing textures. Exiting out, going back in, open and explore. Okay, so textures now. Textures, actors, character, face gen data, face tint, skyrim.esm. Copy, paste, enter, delete. Copy, paste, enter, delete. And the last one, woo! It was a journey, but we did it. Okay, 
Moving on, fresh faces. Okay, so we're gonna download the main file. Okay, so this is a full mod. Okay, so we're clicking next. We're clicking USEP. We're clicking no. And let's open this up. So for Ayla, no. For Borgoth, nope. For Drevnea, yes. For Aeola, no. For Mjol, no. For Rhea, no. And then install. And then pull out those dance shoes. We be deleting. Start with the meshes again. Meshes. Actors. Character. Face gen. Face gem. And then Skyrim. Okay. Top to the bottom. Copy. Paste. Enter. Delete. Okay, and the last one's going to be in the hearthfires.esm. So click back. And then up here, click face geome. Go on to hearthfires. And yeah, it's just one file, so just delete it. Go. Cool. So now we're going to go into the texture. So right click fresh faces. Fresh faces. Open and explore. Then go to textures. Actors. Character. Face gen. Face tint. And Skyrim. And away we go. Enter. Now, I just wanted to show you guys this. Like, say you forget to click on this before you hit enter. I mean, before you hit delete. So if you were to hit delete, like, notice right here, right now, this folder is highlighted. It'll delete that, that texture folder. Oh no, what do I do? It's simple. Just chill, relax. Go into your recycle bin. No, no don't delete it. Don't do that. I did that for drama. Okay, open it. Go down to your texture folder that you deleted. There it is. Just right click, restore. There, it's back. So now, actually click on it and delete. If you notice some edits earlier on in this video, it's because I accidentally did that. Okay, next one. Copy. Paste. Enter. Delete. And then the last one is in Hearthfire. Click on face gen. Remember, there's only one. Just the one. Delete. Good. Okay, let's activate it and move on. Pandables and PCs. Let's download that main file. I really do dig at Pandables and PCs. Does a great job. I don't know if Pandables is a male or female, but whoever this person is does a great job. Let's do it. Let's get that full mod open. Next, we want to continue and then we want USEP. Next, war paint, yes. So, Aisa, Aisa, we want yes. Next, Eris, yes. And Volt, Voltsea, Voltsea. Okay, go, go. Egad, just look at that wall of text. Oh well, let's do it. Hey, don't be scared. Don't be lazy. Come on. Go into meshes, actors, character, face gen, face jung, and Skyrim. Hey, stop complaining. Stop complaining. It's all worth it. Come on. Copy, paste, enter, <laughs> delete. I hope you have some music or something on in the background. Copy, paste, enter, delete. All right, let's do it. Okay, that's it for meshes. Now let's do textures. So right click on Pender Boots, open and explore, and then go into textures, textures, actors, character, face gen, face tint, Skyrim. Okay. Copy. Paste, enter. Delete. Yeah, you're gonna hear that in your nightmares. 
copy, paste, enter, delete, copy, paste, enter, delete. Okay, let's do it. And then the last one. Woo! Excellent. Good job, guys. Way to stick with it. All right, Pandables NPCs don't guard. So there's a main file and an optional file. Jeez, by far the best vampire eyes. Uh, which one? The Yusuf version, of course. And then the gray fix, face fix. Excellent. So let's do it. Okay, and then optional file. We're gonna install as a separate mod because it's an optional file. And this optional file is called Grave Face Fix. Good. And what's this? <laughs> we only need to delete one mesh and one texture in this one. Okay, so open. Oh, I opened up the Grave, fig grave Face Fix. Open up Pandables NPCs. Dongard. Open. Meshes, actors, character, face gen, face geom. Then this is going to be Dongard. And then. Okay, we only have to do it once. Copy, paste. Enter, delete. Good. Now let's go into the texture folder. Open and explore. Textures, actors, character, face gen, face tint, dawn guard. And let's copy and paste. Enter and delete. Good. All right. Pandables Dragonborn. So we're just downloading one main file. Very good. And there's a full mod. Ooh, I cannot see that. Okay, how did I do that, you might ask. If you haven't seen any of my previous videos where I show you how to do that. What you do is you right click and click on view image. And there you go. All right, so next. So for Baldor, we're going with alternative. For Bujold, we're going with alternative. For Fanari, we're going with alternative. Halborn, going with alternative. Hilland, alternative. Such an alternative crowd. So, Elder Othreloth, we're going with default. Okay, Rallis, we're going with alternative. Storn, default. Teldrin, default. Captain Veleth, alternative. Wolf, going with alternative and next finally do you have usep installed why yes we do install okay and then in this window click back and it takes us back to where we were and oh my god i feel like crying you don't have to delete anything out of that one. Oh. okay begin war maidens one of my favorite favorite mods ever it would not be skyrim without Bijin Lydia. Oh, Lydia. Okay. So, which version are we downloading? 3.1.3. That's right here. Boom. And there is a full mod. Alright. We're going with all in one. Next. Uh, we're going to give poor Delphine wrinkles. Sorry, doll. Then next. You and Peabody. And then install. Okay, and we're deleting some meshes and textures. I wonder which NPCs these are. I'm fairly certain none of them is Lydia. And if it is, I will show you in some other video how to restore Lydia. But I don't think, I don't think they would do that to Bajin Lydia. No way. All right. No, oh, I kind of rushed through that, didn't I? Okay, so right click, open and explore. We're going into meshes, actors, character, face gen data, Face Geom, Skyrim, and let's boogie. Copy, paste, enter, delete. Uh, 
Oh, right. Dawn Guard. Okay. So let's click back. Click on Face Geome. And then go into uh, Dawn Guard. Oh, it's just one of two. So, 541C. That one. Second one. Delete. And then we're going to go into Hearthfire. So back again. Click on Face Gen Gen. Face Gen Data. Face Geome. Face Geome. And then into Hearthfires. And there's only one. So, delete the only one that's in there. And let's close it and reopen it. And open Explorer. Now we're going to do the same thing in textures as usual. So textures, actors, character, face gen, face tint, and we're going to start in Skyrim. All right. Copy. Paste. Enter. Delete. Oh, did it again. Got to go into dongard.esm. So back. Face tint. Dongard. And delete. 541C. Second one. Okay, now we're going to go into Hearth Fires. So click on Face Tint. Hearth Fires. And delete that file. Okay. And we're done with Bidgen War Maidens. So let's act. Whoops. Let's activate it. Clean this up. Delete install downloads. All right, next up, Bidgen Wives. Like, to me, this is what Yusolda looks like. I don't even remember what vanilla Yusolda looks like anymore. Okay. So I'll just download the main file. Let's open up the full mod, and let's do this. So we want all-in-one and UNP body. Install. And it looks like we're download, uh, downloading, we're deleting two uh, meshes and two textures. So, that's boogie. Open, meshes, characters, character, face gen, face geome, and Skyrim. Okay. So, let's do it. Okay, now let's do the meshes. Open an explorer. Or textures rather, actors, character, face gen, face tint, Skyrim. Copy, paste, enter, delete. Next. All right, and we're done with Bidgin Wives. Let's go to Bidgin NPCs. This mod will change appearances of Vex, Sapphire, Irelith, Rick, Holda, Lizette, Carlada, Carlia, and Tanilia. So let's download the main file. Ooh, that is tiny. So, right click on the full mod image and view image. Okay. Let's install it all in one. Then we're going with vanilla based, Adrian. And Rick, we're giving Rick a wrinkles. Sorry, Rick. And then Holda, oh, sorry Holda, we're giving you wrinkles too. And Maven, we're giving her wrinkles. And next. I'm not gonna lie, when I installed this guide for myself, when I wasn't doing like a video series or anything, I never chose the wrinkles. Okay. So, oh, wait a minute. So let's go back and see what meshes and textures we need to delete. So just two of each. Okay. I think it's because we're doing uh, Pendo Pendables Blackbriar Ladies. Okay, so open Bijin. And then we go into Meshers. Measures? Meshes. Actors. Character. Face Gen Data. Face Geom. And then Skyrim. Copy. Paste. Enter. Delete. Copy. Paste. Enter. Delete. And now let's do the textures. Open and explore. Textures. Actors. Character. Face gen. Face tint. Skyrim. And let's do it. Copy. Delete. Coo coo. And that is Vision NPCs. Now we're doing Bidgin All-in-One, a merged all-in-one ESP for Bidgin War Maidens, Wives, Saranaholic, Valerica, 
and includes all the latest bug fixes and updates from USEP along with extra features and fixes not found in the original mods. Okay, let's download it. Okay. And download. Excellent. Okay, let's install it. Okay. Now, Pandables Black Briar Ladies. Let's see what they look like. Very nice, very nice. Gotta love Pandables, man. Good stuff. So, we just want uh, the main file. Ingen has optional eyes. Hmm, okay. Alright, let's install it. And we don't have to delete anything. Awesome. Okay. So. Okay, there's a, an exception in this one. We're actually going to merge the optional file into the main file for this one. Okay. So, Pandal's Freya. I don't think I've actually seen this one. Yeah, looking good. Okay. So, we're downloading the main file and the optional file. Okay. So, there's a full mod. Let's open it up. So, let's do the main file first. So next, next. Uh, select one or more of these options, like what to install. Freya. What's Frida? Oh, as a follower. Okay, so Freya. Next. Next. Are we giving her war paint? No, we are not. Then we're installing. Okay, cool. Yeah, I've never installed this before. Yeah, see, I can't endorse it yet. Gotta wait 15 minutes, y'all. All right, so let's install the optional file and we're merging this into the main file. So keep the name the same, hit OK, then merge. Great. All right, so, Pandables Initiates. Very cool, Replaces a replacer for the two Dark Brotherhood Initiates. Hmm. Man, such good looking NPCs, that's great. Uh, which one do we want? We want the vanilla voices.esl. It's right here, third one. Third main file. And then we want uh, Initiates War Paint optional. And for this one, we're going to install as two separate mods, as two separate mods. So let's do the main file first. Okay. And then the optional files. We'll drop it down. War Paint. Okay. And then activate them. So some more new mods for me. All right, Pandable's Lethal Ladies, very cool. I wonder who, which NPCs this covers. Uh, a small replace for Janessa and Carlia, so two Dark Elves, very neat. Is that Carlia or Vanessa? Janessa? Oh, that's Carlia. Thieves Guild, Thieves Guild gear. <laughs> very cool. I kind of like Bajin's uh, Janessa though. All right, so let's open up that full mod. Next, next. Okay, what do we want for Janessa? We want war paint options too. Let's take a look. Ah, that's really cool. So we're going with options two as per the guide. Next. Next. And we're giving her freckles. Ah, hard to tell. Okay, next. And let me squeeze this down again. Squish, okay. So, which version do we want? We want Yusef plus Hoodie. Hoodless. Yeah, I never did like Carlia's hood. Because it always made her look bald. Alright. So, four new mods for me. Very cool. Panable Serana. That's interesting. So, Lexi decided to replace uh, Bijin Serana with Panable Serana. I wonder what she looks like. Oh, wow. Very much the femme fatale. Woo! Hot! Alright, so what are we downloading here for Saran? So just uh, the main file. What is this? Oh, standalone follower version. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. Alright, let's see the full mod for it. So, new Serana. Hmm, very, very interesting. Okay, so we're gonna stick with long hair. Yeah, she looks better with long hair. Next, next. And no fangs with 
eye glow. I don't know. I kind of like having fangs. All right, but well, we're following the guide, so no fangs with eye glow. And then next, makeup, light, medium, and heavy. The guide says medium. Okay, medium, next. And eye color, we're going with default. What are the options? Okay. Pandables has the best vampire eyes, man. Too bad they don't work in VR. Okay, Pandables Valerica. Okay, so we're replacing Valerica as well. Whew, looks good. Okay, and we're just downloading the main file. There's a re-upload. It says there's a USEP version, we're not going with that? Hmm, guess not. All right, so let's open this up. Full mod time. Open up the full mod. Next. Next, what are we going with? We're going with red hair with wrinkles. Oh, poor, poor lady. Sorry, but you got to get wrinkles. Next, heavy or light makeup? Heavy makeup. Okay, and then install it. Jeez, all these are new for me. <laughs> I can't endorse any of these for a while. Probably until the next video. All right, Panable Shield Sisters. Shield Sisters. Small visual overall, we have Ayla, Rhea, and Jada, Majada. Wow, replacing the Jinaela. Wow, you know, I like it though. That looks really good. And I like this Rhea more than the Bajin. I never did, really did like Bajin's Rhea. Freya, looking good, looking very good. Alright, so let's download the main file. Let's see what the FOMOD says. Boom. Next next. So for Ayla, we're giving her the original war paint. Of course, it's not Ayla without war paint. Uh, let's go ahead and open this. For Najada, we're going with the original war paint for her as well. Okay, and Ria, we're going with the original war paint. I kind of like that alternative war paint, though. Original next. Next. Ah, that's why we didn't download the USEP version. It's in a full mod. Okay. Install. And activate. Oh. Okay, so we're deleting something here. Yeah, I bet that's Ayla. I bet we're preserving Virginia Ayla. So open in, in Explorer, so we're going into Meshes, Actors, Character, Face Gen, Face Geome, and Skyrim. Which one we delete in 8E2? I'm not seeing that. Because that's the next file, JT. For Shield Sisters, we're not deleting anything. Okie dokie. All right, now we're going to Warrior Women. But this is new too. We're replacing Bijin Mjol and Uthgird. Wow. I'm so used to seeing the Bijin version of those girls. But okay. So is that Mjol or Uthgird? I see steel plate here. This looks like White Run. That's probably Uthgard. Yeah. No, that's Mjol. No war paint. So that's Mjol. Holy cow. And that's Uthgard. Huh. Wow. Hmm. I dig it. Sure. Why not? All right. Let's see. Oh, but one of them. One of them's not going to make it. I wonder which one it is. All right. Full mod. Next. Next. So we're going with war paint number two. I'm guessing we're not going to go with Uthgard since we're actually choosing a war paint for uh, for uh, Mjol. Next, and Uthgard's getting wrinkles. Next, Usep. Yes. All right, and let's delete the mesh and the texture. So actors, character, face gen, face geom, Skyrim, and eight E two. That's the first one. Delete. I wonder who that is. Open and explore. It's textures, actors, character, face gen, face tint, Skyrim. 8E2. Yeah, I'm guessing this is Uthgrid because I see face paint on this one, so we're preserving the Jin Uthgrid, I'm guessing. Okay, activate. Let's clean this mess up. Holy cow. Ah. <sighs> 
So much cleaner. Okay, Ikis enhanced NPC is unique, realistic NPC replacer, some with high poly heads, all with a lot of time, care, and consideration. So we got a main file and an update. So let's do it. Yeah, I don't know. Some of these are okay, but who is that? Carlia? No. That cannot be our girl, girl Carlia. I'm not digging that. But there's no deletions. So Lexi decided to. Yeah. In a later video, I will show you how to restore uh, some NPCs if you want to restore them. But, anyways, on with the guide. So let's go with the main file and an update file. Um, which one? Go with the full mod one. Second one. Download. And an update file. Fralia ESP hotfix. Right here. Download. Okay, so since uh, it's a hotfix, we're going to merge it into the main file. So install the main file. Come on. Oh, still downloading. Jeez. Pretty big file. Ooh, it's going to take a minute. I mean, I'm getting good download speeds. Right now it's like 8 megabytes a second. 9, 8. 10, 11. It's just huge. It's almost 2 gigs. 2 gigs for an NPC retexture. What the heck? Mercer Frey. That's Temba Whitearm? Heimsker. Maribel. I should go around. Looks pretty cool. Fralia Greymane. Oh, I kind of like that for Fralia. Yeah. Who's that? Alfina, yeah, I don't like that one. Bullamond, I can see, I can see that. Uh, I'm not digging that one. Alvord's looking okay. Yeesh, I'm not digging that. Not for bur burning you off. Tofdir, that, 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 that looks like Tofdir to me. That's good. I don't like that one. It's something weird looking here. I don't know, these don't really match the aesthetic of everything else we've installed. At least for the women. Between Pandables, Bijin, and like uh, ordinary women and all that. The art style is just different. I mean, it, these aren't bad, it's just different. Oh, I kind of like this though. Viramo, Headmaster of Bards College. Delphine? Yeah, the art style is just completely different. These characters are going to stand out a little too much, in my humble opinion. Alright, so let's install it. So, main file. So look at the full mod next. Okay, we're not installing all of them. So Balamund, yes. Sigir, Tofdir. Okay, so we're not installing John and Ferengar, it looks like. No, we are going with Ferengar. Long hair for Ferengar. Cicero. Really? I like Panable Cicero. Jarl Igmund. Esburn. Matanak. Oh, let's open this. Called like White Mane. Heimsker. Okay. I Cantor. The next, and now the NPC, the females. Oh, okay. Okay. So we're not going with Delphine. And not LSF. Okay. But we are going with Jarl Lila. Idgrid. Jarl Idgrid Ravencrone. Okay. Edgar the Younger. Okay, we're not going with Carlia. Oof. <laughs> I was worried, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, Fralia. Yeah, I like Fralia. Fralia looks good in here. And then Temba. Eh. Next. Next. Okay, then install it. It's really cool that Iki made it so modular. That's really cool. And the upside update file, we're gonna merge directly into the main mod, so make sure they're named the same. Okay? Then merge. Alright, next up, Iki's Tildren Settle. Appearance replacer for our favorite Dunmar Cell Sword. 
and a patch for Teldrin, so, uh, Teldrin is included. Both are ESL flagged. Alright. So we're just downloading the main file, though. Who is Teldrin? <laughs> I don't remember who this is. Uh, he's wearing, like, Dragonborn stuff, so maybe it's because Dragonborn. Yeah, that's probably my least played content in Skyrim. Okay, let's install it. Not that I dislike it or anything, I just never seem to get to it. Okay. Alright, Children Overhaul, another mod I can't play without because vanilla Skyrim look like potatoes. So the main files with hotfix. Okay. Let's open up this full mod. Okay, next. We're just choosing Usep, and that's it for that. And then next, 2K Aventus, and facial animations, and then install. And we are extracting this BSA, so yes. Cool. All right, so looks like there is some SSC editing required. We're gonna flag RS Children as an ESL, and let's do it. So activate it, drop down to SSC Edit, and then run. Right click, select none, go all the way down, and uh, select RS Children and OK. And we are not using mod groups, so just hit, don't select anything, just hit OK. OK, so expand that, click on file header, right click on record flags, edit, wait for the countdown, click yes, tick the box next to ESL, then OK. Then you can exit out of here, make sure this box is checked, and then hit OK. That's that. And the final uh, mod to install in this section is MPT, MPC Retexture Merge Consistency Patch. This patch uh, is to make sure all the MPC overhauls play nice with each other, and what I want to win is, well, winning. Okay, Lexi, you got us. All right, so let's download the main file, MPC Retexture Merge Consistency. Right here. Okay, and we do not want it to be called Sick Nim Hey Patch. Drop down and go to FBC Retexture Merge Consistency Patch, and then OK. Howdy folks, JT from the future here. So there's a minor alteration that we need to make. So we were actually meant to uh, merge uh, some optional files into their main files, and one of them was FHH Miz Edition War Paints. We were, we were meant to uh, merge that into followers, hirelings, and housecarls. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna do that by clicking on FHH, right clicking on it, going into Explorer. We're gonna cut this texture, cut, close, then go into followers, hirelings, and housecarls. Right click on that, go into open and Explorer, and we're gonna paste it here. And we're gonna replace the files in the destination, yes. Okay, once that's done, we're actually going to uninstall FHH Miz Edition War Paints here. So right click on that and remove mod. Okay, the next one we were supposed to do is The Ordinary Women. Uh, the SSE USEP ESP only. We were meant to uh, merge that into the main file here. So let's do that. So right click on Ordinary Women, um, SSE USEP, this one here. Right click on that, open and explore. We're going to cut this ESP, Ordinary Women ESP. We're gonna right click on the Ordinary Women main file, open that in Explorer, and we're gonna paste in here and replace. Okay, after that, we're gonna remove that optional file that we no longer need. Right click, remove mod. All right, and finally, the last one we need to merge was the Pandible's Dawn Guard. We're gonna um, merge the gray, fix, gray Face Fix into Pandible's NPC Dawn Guard. And to do that, right click on Gray Face Fix, open in Explorer, we're gonna go ahead and uh, cut this here, cut the contents of that, that folder. Uh, right click on Panables Dawn Guard, open in Explore, and paste, and replace the files. Okay, then after that, let's uninstall Grayface Fix here. So right click, remove mod. Okay, another alteration we need to make. Uh, we were supposed to delete the ESP files of the Bijin, um, the Bijin mods, because we're using the all-in-one ESP. And to do that, we're gonna make this super, super easy. So, Bijin War Maidens, double click on it, click on optional ESPs, 
select Bijin War Maidens and, and uh, click the minus sign here. There, that's removing it. And we're gonna do that for our Bijin Wives as well. So double click on Bijin Wives, go into optional ESPs tab, click on Bijin Wives ESP and minus sign. And do that for Bijin NPCs as well. Okay, and that's it. Carry on. Okay, yeah, nice big chunk of mods we just installed for uh, MPC retextures overalls. And it's about this point in the in the mod guide where I'm like, man, I would really love to load up the game to see uh, what these NPCs look like. But you know, if you try to do that, the game is just gonna crash immediately. There's too many mods missing their masters right now. See here. And also, uh, we still need to run loot, so a lot of these mods aren't in the proper load order they need to be. And uh, there's a good chance that loot's not even going to work correctly because there's a lot of uh, loot rules that we need to, need to apply at the very end of the guide before it'll uh, sort properly. So, yeah, just gotta wait. Be patient, guys. It's going to be totally worth it. Well, anyways, that concludes this video. In the next video, we're going to move on to beards, brows, and hair. I hope to see you there. I know I'll see you there. Come on, by now you're hooked. If you've made it this far, you're hooked. My condolences. <laughs>